Okay. There we go. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to another random gameplay. This is a Bomberman 64 on, of course, the Nintendo 64. In order for this to work on emulation decently, you gotta kinda have the glide plugin enabled in the settings. Otherwise the transparency effects don't work, but at the same time it also kinda messes up with this intro here. <laughs> but you know, intro not super important. But, you know, it, it, I mean, I guess it is just sort of get you in the mood of things, but, you know, in terms of the actual gameplay, that that's where it's all at, and that's where, oh god, and that's where the glide plug-in will work just fine at. Oh, it even messes with the audio, that's weird. <laughs> Alright, Bomberman 64 adventure, let's begin, I was doing tests. Let's go, oh man, what should we do? Normal, actually. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend hard until you unlock everything from normal, actually, which I would go into with a uh, walkthrough should I make it one day, but yes, yes. Alright. Yeah, I still got some weird audio things going on here just in the cutscenes, but at least the transparency effects like that fade out is working fine otherwise it would just be like a a black screen <laughs> yeah emulation not really the best of ways to play your favorite games <laughs> unless it's like super 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 accurate but yeah and this would be like a blue screen before it even turns like gradually transparent if I didn't have the glide plugin enabled. I wonder if there's something that I can do about the audio too, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Mission complete! What did you guys do? And since there's dark music, it can't be good. Great job. Well, we certainly cleaned up this planet. What's our next target? Yes, what is it? I would like to know. Just in case I need to defend myself from you guys. Uh, that audio thing is weird for sure. <laughs> it's so slow. <laughs> or at least it sounds so slow. Oh no, not not Planet Bomber. That That's where I reside. That's where all my buddies reside. What? No, 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 no. We can't let this happen. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, they're coming. They're coming, and the speed is back to normal for some reason. Uh, yeah, I don't quite understand it either. It just happens sometimes when Glide is on. <laughs> see, it's, just, it's normal now. I just you see, there's nothing wrong going on. But I bet you when they start firing at our cities, oh jeez. Yep, that's what I figured. Yeah, it's like when certain actions are going on in the cutscenes. It's uh, kind of messes with the emulation speed. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no! Don't trip! No! No! Orange Bomber! Orange Bomber! No! It's a tragedy. A total and complete tragedy. What can we do though? They're up there and we're down here. It's gotta be something. Oh! Who is this guy? Are you a friend or are you a foe? Who knows? Do you plan to defeat them? They'll let you in on a secret. I've got a bone to pick with them. Do you now? Well, perhaps we could join forces. There's no way you'll be able to get near, let alone get in the central base. I, I can kind of tell that. I can't jump that high. In fact, I can't jump at all in this game. <laughs> but if you destroy the four anchors to the base, the field will be deactivated and you can destroy the base from within. Ooh, stealthy ninja mission. I am in. It's asking for too much for you ever to go alone, so I'll give you a hand. Woo! And man, that audio. That audio is just... <laughs> It's trippy, man. It's trippy. But don't worry, the intro is ending off right here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why it does that sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't. But anyway, here we go. 
Level, select a green garden. Well, actually, you can select any level you want, but green garden is the first one, so let's do it. And also, see those gold cards next to stage one on the left there? Those would not be transparent if I didn't have glide enabled. So, yeah, it would look like I already collected all the gold cards when I did not. <laughs> Alright. Untouchable treasure. Oh, I'm here to help. Just like I promised. First, I need to teach you some basic moves. Move the control stick a little to walk, and a lot to run. Keep in mind that you should walk when you're in closed and dangerous areas. A feel free to run in open safe areas. Press the A button, set a bomb, the bomb will soon BOOM! Move away from the bomb so you don't get burned. A pot or a block can be destroyed with a BOOM! Items may appear from a destroyed object, so blow up as many objects as you can. When you find a suspicious area, set a bomb there or stand on top of it. It could be a special switch. There's a large red gem in this ruin, which is protected by a magical barrier. Step on the four switches to release the barrier! That's all, that's it for now. You can talk to me by pressing the B button. My name is Sirius, a name you should remember. And he's off! And the game returns to normal speed! Yay! We can actually play normally! It's incredible! Ooh, oh, by the way, these don't actually kill you. <laughs> they just kind of knock you around. You can kick bombs into them by double pressing the A button like so. Getting gems. Yeah, and you can see our, our uh, time thing is going up there. Um, yeah, that's kind of... that's. Yeah, see, there's a target time we gotta beat the level by if you want to get a gold card. But... Well, we probably aren't going to be doing that, because I'm just kind of exploring stuff to show you what the poop is up around these ruins and how to play this game. But listen to this sound. Do you hear that high-pitched sound? Listen. That means you can't destroy this object. Yes. Yes. And there's some slowdown going on, maybe because he's coming along here. Hi, right, Barman, this time I'm going to teach you how to lift and throw. Press the B button, lip. The speed button again to throw! There are three distances you can throw, which are determined by the amount of pressure you apply to the control stick! Hit, hit, it's basically no pressure, throw the uh, lowest amount. Mid amount of pressure, throw medium. Full pressure, throw the furthest. Hit enemies with a bomb to knock them unconscious. Unconscious enemies can be picked up and thrown. A tough enemy can be knocked unconscious, picked up and thrown to another area. Oops, I forgot to mention. Use the C button to change the camera angle even while the game is paused. And it should return to normal speed. Yeah, it's magical. So press B, hold A, and pump it up by mashing that A button. Yeah! How do you like those apples? <laughs> I'm gonna destroy this bridge just because I can. <laughs> That actually would not help me get all the gold cards to this stage, but details, details. <laughs> I can't get all the gold cards to stage anyway because, well, I don't have red bombs. Let's just put it that way. I'll, I'll just leave it at that and you can destroy stuff here. I believe the gems are just for extra lives, like if you get a hundred of them, if I recall correctly. Yeah. But anyway, you know how to kick bombs now, right? You can also stop them by pressing the R button which is also pretty handy. Now, if you step on these switches, you can unlock the barrier to the gem at the end of the level. Oh, man, this should be more transparent than it should actually look right now, if I recall correctly. Um, but it's not. <laughs> so you gotta find three more of those switches. Oh, this guy right here, this this thing, oh, this thing takes forever to destroy. Like, you would be better off throwing it into some water or something like that while it's stunned. <laughs> anyway, serious. This time I'll teach you the bomb kick, which will be just as useful as the bomb throw. Bomb kick, run into a bomb, or press the A button twice while still. I taught this already. Well, kick the bomb, can we stop using the R button? An enemy that's hit with a bomb will be knocked unconscious. Temporarily. You could kick a bomb along a wall or into the space between the walls. Try using this technique in different situations. He's hinting that you can use it over here. See these pillars? Yeah, uh, well... They're actually weak to bomb blasts. Watch this, watch this. Ah, oh, such slowdown with glide. At least when there's so many enemies on stage here. Or maybe it's due to the emulation recording too, because when I tested this it wasn't nearly as laggy. Oh wait, maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> maybe it was just due to Sirius, who knows? Who knows? But anyway, I open up that gate and now we can go up top. Oh wait, I heard that. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, let's go and get another switch down here. Wee! Yahoo! That's two down, two to go. And also that screen transition effect wasn't supposed to be that jarring. It's supposed to be, yeah, something like a fade-in effect as well, but emulation, emulation, you know. Maybe once I potentially do a walkthrough on this, I'll have this more sorted out, but alas for now, alas for now, it ain't gonna happen. Now water, um, you don't have to worry about dying in shallow water like this. But you can't really swim upstream. Yeah, you're not a salmon. But deeper water like this will kill you. Uh, off to the left side there. Don't go in it. <laughs> so let's just kind of avoid that and continue on here. Although if you do die, I guess I could show you this. Um, you won't actually lose progress on the stage like like switch wise. What you'll do is you'll just kind of restart back from the last switch to hit. And yeah, they act like checkpoints here, so not really any sort of big deal like that or anything like that. Um, and by the way, you also notice that when you hit those switches, these pots for some reason respawn. I'm not sure why that happens, but they do. <laughs> I think that happens in the actual game too, but yes, it automatically respawns. You can power up. The bomb items give you extra bombs to lay. Um, the, uh, oh, you actually can't see, interesting, uh, the, uh, firepower increases your bomb blast radius, and because I put a bomb in front of this mouth that opened up, yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> Don't worry, it's, we're not eating or anything like that, you just kinda, you just kinda plop a bomb over there and it'll reopen up like magic, but if you fall down here, oh no, oh no, I'm not a salmon again. I'm not a salmon again. So yeah, that's don't fall in the water. <laughs> Just kind of a waste of time more than anything. Alright. Going in. And there's two more switches along these parts, but there's also more tutorials to be had. Heck yeah, excitement. <laughs> like Sirius is hanging out over here. You've learned quite a bit this time. And yeah, it does seem to slow down when he's on screen. That's weird. This time I'll teach you a special move called the bomb jump. In an area like this, you need to use a bomb to cross. You could cross over to the next platform by using the bomb jump. Practice it here to get the hang of it. Next is the aerial bomb explosion. You'll need a remote bomb with, with this technique. You'll be able to destroy objects in the air. Throw the bomb, press the Z button while the bomb is at the highest point in the air. Use this technique in a bomb in a battle with a boss. After you pick up a remote bomb, use it on the block that's in the air. If you master these two techniques, you should be able to handle any situation you encounter. Good luck. Alright, I gotta get him off screen. ASAP. There we go, it's back up to normal speed. <laughs> And that's how the bomb jump works. Let's see if I can get this here without actually falling down on top of it. There we go. This is the remote bomb. Plop a bomb. Press the Z button to make it explode. Yeah, you've now got control over the bomb's explosion time. Look at that handiness. It is spectacular. You can speed things along so much faster this way. It's sensational. Got a little egg guy here. He has no trouble even though he takes two hits. And you got this stuff up here. Oh, no problem. I can take care of that with the remote bomb. See, this is like a whole tutorial levels of sorts, basically. Um, and see, that's a, up, that's up there, that spiral thing. That's a teleporter. And we can only get up there by using some really elaborate bomb jumps, which I would cover more in an actual walkthrough. And it's so weird. It, 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 this slowdown thing happens only at certain, like, points. I just don't know. It's so weird. I think there's another remote bomb in here, if I recall. Yeah, there is. And you can also blow up this bridge if you want to. But, but, hold on. Hold on. I'd like to go up and around. Oh, egg fell. <laughs> I'd like to go up and around just to see here. You, you there, close your mouth. It's disgusting. You're spewing all this saliva all over the place. I guess you can't, can you? You can't. But what I can do is show you something neat. Watch this. Watch this. Well, I, well, I can't progress any further up here. What I can do is blow up this bridge while I'm on top of it and <laughs> fall down. Because why not? And that's also kind of kind of, kind of causing slowdown. Look at that! It reveals the camera angle that you can see the last switch that we need to open up the crystal giblets. What is this crystal giblet used for? Well, eh, eh hmm. well, it's not not really clear at this moment in time, though, is it? But it's open and it's red. It's spectacular. 
And that is the end of the stage. And unfortunately, without the powers of the red bomb, which I can get from other areas, I wait, actually, no, you can get it in this area. But it's at a super secret area. Oh god, serious, serious, please no. Please stop slowing me down. This is my last instruction to you for the stage. This time I'll teach you about the items. Firebomb remotes. Oh, it's 50, not 100. Okay. But the special item bomb becomes a red bomb. This is a powerful bomb that can destroy all objects. Red bomb has more fire power than a bomb, and the damage an enemy takes from it is greater. It can only be used once per stage. Gold card, yada yada yada. Five per stage. That's all for items and then you gotta collect them all to 100% the game yes 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 I gotta get away from the slowdown now <laughs> okay so here's something that you can do I don't think I have enough bombs in my inventory to be able to pull this off but but if I were to say build a bomb bridge here with remote bombs I might be able to say get up to those stairs over there that, as ridiculous as this sounds, this is a technique that you're going to need to use for 100%ing the game. Uh, let's see here, I wonder if that's spaced enough. Um, but I guess we're gonna see! So I'm gonna plop a bomb there, and uh, see that was like a staircase of different sizes of bouncing? Uh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, panic! <laughs> let's see if I can get up there though, maybe it's gonna be possible. Yeah, yes, 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 yes! I made it! I made it! And this is a super secret area where you can get red bombs! Yes! Yes! And it's also deathly dangerous with this water and stuff like that, so, uh... Yeah, maybe, well, maybe I could explore it, because it's not any sort of danger to show you around here, because it's, yeah, if I fall, it's just like, eh, so what? <laughs> so this is, uh, like a... Yeah, those stairs, they're... They're slightly above the area that we're at, so kind of kind of can't go through that. It's more like a way back one than anything, and you guys really got to stop spawning here. <laughs> uh, what is causing me to slow down? This? Oh, I didn't even see you there whatsoever. I'm moving the control stick and oops, and mashing buttons. Ah, I got him. Okay, well let's speed things along. That would be that'd be kind of nice. Um, let's see what we got here. Um, no, I don't think I need to use any bomb jumps at this particular sp uh, particular area. But I might need to use the power bombs to kind of hit, get these things destroyed. Ah, so much slow down. So much slow, or maybe I can't use it over here. Maybe, maybe. No, nah, maybe that doesn't work here, okay. So, I forgot then what I'm supposed to do here in order to actually get the power bombs, which I believe are down in there. <laughs> Was I, I'm, I mean, I might have to use these pillars to bomb jump across like I used to get here to begin with. Ah, oh, thank Garcias, it returned, it went returned back to no, normal speed, but... Um, I'm gonna have to go back over here, so that's not very helpful. <laughs> you there. You there. You've gotta go. You gotta, we gotta get this thing back to normal speed. Uh, yeah, I don't think... Well, maybe I can, I don't know. I don't I'm not, I'm not seeing the path right now, but that might be because I am rusty. So I'm just gonna leave this area. I showed you how to get to the secret area. You can figure it out later. <laughs> so, okay, I guess I'm just gonna go over to the end of the stage and, uh, call it a level for now. Oh, jeez. Oh, serious, no. No, please, no. Just end it. End it. Too much slow down when you're around. There we go. <laughs> Once he's off screen, we're, we're good. <laughs> no gold cards. No gold cards. All right. Moving on. Stage two. And we are about to be tested in like a mini boss battle of sorts. You can get gold cards by attacking him using various actions, like throwing bombs on his head, kicking bombs into him, hitting him with a power bomb. Oh jeez, because... Oh no, serious. Are you actually going to cause me ire because you have the slowdown of the slowdowns? Oh no, oh no, glide, please no. <laughs> See, I got a gold card for attacking with a regular bomb. And if I were to say throw a bomb onto his head, I believe that I'll also get a gold card for that. Uh, oh! And the ob objective, as I said, for 100%ing the game is to get all the gold cards. Well, 
I defeated him pretty quick there, so whatever. Better than I expected. Keep fighting like that, and you should be able to defeat them. Good luck. Alright, thank you for the test of a very easy boss. Victory is mine, and thank you for leaving me so I don't have massive slowdown. <laughs> yeah, I think it's partially also due to the... Uh, Recording that's going on as well, but this is a fun game, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going. Stage three, and there's far far less dialogue going on here as well as serious, so things should be far less slow downy. I got it. Oh no, I didn't get it. U S O B of a C and and oh, never mind. So now we got it up there, wherever that is. We gotta figure out where that might be. Who know? Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Let me tell you something about the one responsible for the attack on Planet Bomber. His name is Altair. He drains a planet's energy to power the Omnicube. The Omnicube holds the power to rule the universe. From the way he takes his time extracting a planet's energy, it seems he hasn't figured out how to use the Omnicube. Such an operation doesn't re require that much time. However, his incompetence is helping you, and you should be thankful Full. I don't have remote bombs to take care of those blocks up there, and I, 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 don't, I wouldn't say I'm that thankful. I mean, he is kind of causing us ire to begin with, so let, let's be honest here. If he wasn't even around to begin with, this, this kind of wouldn't be happening. So, yeah. Alright, he's off screen, thank God. <laughs> oh, now we got some blade guys over there, which can actually cause us damage. Yeah, I know, it's scary. I should be turning this camera around here, too, by the way. I should also be killing off these guys. Uh, there we go. Yeah, uh, that takes care of two. I don't know if I got that other one over to the side here. I'll just grab that for kicks. Blade guy, yeah, blade guy is gone. And... Explode! Explode! And there is a teleporter up there, which is a really sneaky thing to put. And you'll need a remote bomb to go and get that, but that's, uh, that's for the future. Yes, that I don't, don't have right now. Alas. Alas. Can I kill you off so I can- there you go. <laughs> so, okay, there- oh, so there's these, uh, suspicious holes over here, which I'm gonna just kinda put a bomb- Wee! <laughs> and that's how it rolls. We can go up and around here, because why not? It's gonna be fun. We're gonna have a good time. And we're gonna destroy some stuff while we're exploring, because why not? Hopefully I can kill that other tiki guy there, and he's just having a, a totem pole. And that doesn't matter, I guess. I can just kinda hop down over here. This isn't actually the place that we need to go, if I recall. We need to actually go through here. Yes, through here. That's where the gem is located. But, remember that other area for potential future walkthroughs, maybe. Maybe. I forgot which one actually is the thing that takes us forward here. Like, that's not that one. <laughs> it must be the left or the right one then. Oh! Oh! I, oh! I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> All is well though, as we'll just respawn right here. I put the camera right back over where it needs to be. Good times, okay, <laughs> just slipped right off that edge, like a nub, and just knock him out, and I'll offset my bomb blast here so I can run, oh, it was powerful enough that it actually went underneath and through the platform, that's interesting, I mean, it, you know, it had a wide enough bomb blast, alright, let's go on up, let's go on up, uh, oh, that wasn't the correct side, but this is where that crystal is, so you know which side we've got to go up, oh man! So much slowdown, so much slowdown, although I'm, I admit that I didn't play that much of this game with the glide plugin enabled, so maybe it is partly to do with the glide plugin as well, too, so who knows, who knows, all I know is... There is a guy that can actually hurt me over here, and thus he's gotta go. I said, you've gotta go. <laughs> Plus, I gotta get the slowdown out of existence. Alright. Yeah, it's back to normal speed. <laughs> and people wonder why I don't emulate games as much as possible. <laughs> and so now it's up over there. Where is that? Well, that's a whole other area that we were kind of already at before. <laughs> I do believe so. We're gonna, gonna go back. You, you, you get, you get out of here. Otherwise, you're gonna probably knock me in the water, and that will be a tragedy. Okay, now let's open that mouth back up, 
and let's go back through the mouth. I'm taking a more direct route here now because I don't have to actually explore anything on the other side until I actually get there. But the thing that we need to take now is uh, this area here. Remember this? Remember this? Yeah, now we're actually going to go up it. Because <laughs> that is where our crystally buddy is. Do we get it this time? No! No! And this is... Holy poopers. You are taking this to infinity and beyond. Uh, okay, thank you, Sirius. I, I couldn't stand that thing anymore. Okay. So now I gotta get it over there, wherever over there might be. And over there is actually on the other side, attached to a teleporter. So <laughs> we gotta go back around, open up the mouth, and we're off! <laughs> I'm not ending this part until I finish World 1, though. Not 100% though, we're kinda, we're kinda stuck being able to do that without uh, certain items and stuff like that. So instead, we're going around. And this, you, you can destroy this bomb, I mean destroy this block here with a bomb, excuse me. Yeah, like that, and you can loop around and stuff like that, and stuff and stuff, but I'm not really sure I need to do that. What I'm mainly focused on here is just finding that teleporter and getting ourselves to the end of the stage, because there's not much more there needs to be to explore. Hey there, guy. Uh, wait a second. Oh! 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 Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no! Please don't tell me I restarted. Oh, no! Oh, no! Cut! Cut! There we go! I got the last gem set up here now. And it's amazing how you can just fit it perfectly through that little gap there as it's spinning around. That bird has a spectacular sense of timing. <laughs> now, actually, I forgot where the teleporter was for this third one. I could have swore it was down that right side route, but I could be wrong about... Oh, man. Wait, wait, wait! I remember, actually. Uh, it's over in here. Uh, I don't have to go along that side, do I? Because if I break this apart... I believe the teleporter's in there. Yeah, see that little bit peeking out there? Yeah, I'm glad I, I remembered that. Oh, shoot, whoops. Oops, whoops, whoops. I'm glad I remembered that. Oh, in my defense, I mean, in the game's defense, excuse me, for the way that I died off of that uh, particular area back when I game overed, well, I didn't change the camera angle around. <laughs> So, you know, yeah, that, that it's kind of important that you kind of flip that camera angle around and stuff and stuff. So, as you don't notice that I, I kind of reached a dead end here. Like, what? What? How do, how do we get to that gym then? How the, How do we? Well, we, there's another route. <laughs> it's just a place to explore, have a good time. I think we got to go this way, actually. Um, well, we're going to see, I guess. Yeah, see there's more stuff to be seen over here. Always try and kill an enemy from a distance with a bomb with a kick, if you can. As it's much, much safer than trying to get yourself uh, uh, next to them, laying a bomb next to them. Especially when they might decide to attack you or something like that. And yeah, there's a lot to explore here, but... But... I'm done. Because I don't have the means to be able to explore all that. <laughs> Yeah, because I did it under the target time, I got a gold card for that. Alright, Sage 4 is that Link. And the Link is guarded. By a dragon! Oh no, oh no! Holy poopers! Oh, we got- oh, serious, serious, please no. Oh, thank you, actually. You gave me a nice, delightful remote bomb for me to do my dirty. So now what we can do here is prepare to torch that dragon. Alright, ready, ready, ready? Uh, oh! Well, that that's not exactly what I was going for, but... I didn't want- it was a little bit too close to me for me to be able to explode him with a bomb, so... <laughs> Oh man, the slowdown, you're you're kinda you might be worse than serious. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, and this transparency effect on the bridge is actually supposed to happen, by the way. Attack! Ah oh, I mistimed it. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I just want him to close in on me so I can actually get a 
remote bomb blast on him. Um, if you destroy his wings, you'll also be able to get gold cards off of it. Oh, he's gonna go in for a, a dive here, which might allow me to destroy both of his wings. You just gotta time this right here, which is gonna be hard due to the slowdown. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I'm used to timing this when there's regular speed. <laughs> And this, kids, is why you should always play on the actual hardware if you can help it. <laughs> Alright, come in. Can I get a hit off of him? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, I managed to hurt him a little bit there. A little bit. He's on fire. He's on fire! Yeah, I got a gold card there. I'll try and get as many hits off of him as I can with regular bomb blasts, I guess. So yeah, see his health on the right side? That is, uh... Uh, his health, that uh, yeah, the heart's on there. And coming in. Coming in. Oh. I'm not really super focused on the gold cards with with such slowdown in my wake, so let's just kind of... I'm just kind of focusing on killing off this bad boy here. Ah! Take that. Ah, I'm not close enough, am I? I am not. I'm not. By the way, you can't actually run off the side of this bridge with this uh, border is, so don't worry about it too much. Ah, so much horrendous. Oh, I died. It's it's a tragedy. It's a tragedy. I can't believe this happened. <laughs> and that means I have to also have to restart with all the slowdown. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> all right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do it with power bombs too, because I'll take off more of your health. Hopefully. Yeah! Ah! Well, actually, if I get you from this side... Well, oh, wait, no, that's not gonna work, because it's just gonna land on my platform, and then I'll end up blowing myself up. <laughs> yeah, power bombs, when you blow them up like this, it will uh, increase their power and be able to take out a full heart's worth of damage, rather than just a single little heart. So, yeah, that's, that's what I really should be going on, or going for, but... Oh, yeah, baby. How you like those apples? <laughs> but it's kind of kind of difficult to do when I can't time myself properly. See, what you're supposed to be doing if you're hitting him with the power bomb method here is attacking him as he's flying in for a landing. Well, not for a landing or getting in close to. Oh, ah, oh, poopers. I'm I'm never going to be finishing this fight with the slowdown timing issues that I have. Am I? Am I? Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> I, I think I'll get it eventually. Maybe. Maybe. At the very least, game overs aren't that big of a deal. It's just like restarting the stage anyway. So it's like, lives don't matter, just like in Bomberman Hero. I can't believe I forgot about the game over screen on Bomberman Hero because I don't really even consider the game over screen like any sort of detriment. <laughs> Can I hit him good? Oh! Now, how did I hit his head and his wing, but not his body? I don't know, but I also hit myself because I was holding a bomb up in the blast. It's it's another tragedy. It's another tragedy. <laughs> and those credits don't even mean much either, because all, all I would do if I were to lose all the credits is I would go be taken over to the title screen, of which I would just mash buttons to get all back over to my save file. And then the stage is still unlocked, so whatever, you know. <laughs> oh, the slowdown is just horrendous. I wonder if there's something that I can do about this in the emulation settings. Like, hold on a sec. I'm just gonna just gonna see here. Um, settings. Yeah, this is what I was doing to configure Bomberman 64. It's the plugins here. What if I turn just turn that off and use a system plugin? I don't know if that'll work. Um, no, maybe it has partially to do with my recording as well. Uh, it actually is showing the tr transparency setting, though, so maybe Glide isn't completely off? <laughs> maybe? Maybe? I don't know. This, this slowdown is absolutely horrendous. That's all I know. Wait, hold on. Did it actually even turn off the... Did it actually even turn off the... Oh, it didn't. Okay, system plugin apply. Okay, try that. Um, I don't think it's actually applying because maybe I have to reset the emulator for it to actually 
Uh, yeah, it's not actually allowing me to turn it off unless I restart the emulator. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> hmm. Well. Oh, and also you have to unhide advanced settings as well. Don't forget about that. So that's, that's another thing. Uh, anyway. Anyway. Oh, wait, maybe I did... Oh, no, I was gonna say, maybe I did turn it off because the bridge is opaque, but no, it's not opaque at the edges. Ah, no. Okay, I'm just gonna attack you with normal bombs. There, there we go. Just, just, I'll attack you with whatever I can at the moment in time. <laughs> By the way, your bombs, when you use, when you have a remote bomb, they'll be blowing up in order uh, that you place them. So, yeah. So, pay close attention as to what, what your bombs are doing. And, uh, don't, don't, oh, oh, I got his body. There we go. Can I get the rest of his body? Maybe, maybe, because I, I got, I'm close, I'm close. Oh, I got his wing, though, that'll also give me a gold card. The other wing will give me his gold, give me a gold card as well. That burn effect on his wing looks pretty cool, I must say. Alright, I just gotta get his body once here. <laughs> here we go, ready? Throw it off, and hopefully that explosion will hit him. Uh, no, no, it was too early. It was too early. He's got to sort of, like, glide into the explosion. Yeah, I use glide there, just just for kicks. <laughs> Even though I can't turn glide off. Alas, alas, I had to make a pun off of it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Get in there. Get in my range. Ah! Ah! Okay, here we go, here we go. This could be it. Not quite. Not quite. Come on. Just one more hit. One more. Oh, I knocked you back. <laughs> I just want to end off this part so I can end off the slowdown. <laughs> so again, let this be a lesson. To always say, hey, um, yeah, why, why can't you do this game if you can play emulated games, PK Gam, on this particular emulator? This is why. It's because not all games emulate equal. And oh man, I finally got him on a glide. Amazing. <laughs> Woo! Victory! It's mine! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. And he's done for. <laughs> and I got a couple gold cards. I even beat the target time bonus. But since I didn't destroy that other wing, well, I didn't get another the fifth gold card for that one. It's a tragedy. But with that, I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video when... Hopefully there won't be any sort of a slowdown, anything close to this. 